Hey, what's up everybody? It's Frick and today I wanted to show you guys uh, a very basic and newbie way to get Kodi on your PC or laptop the easy way. All pre-configured, ready to go. Now, uh, some may be intimidated by this. I've had to help uh, quite a few people install Kodi on uh, their machine, on their laptop, on their iPads, on their Android boxes. But this is the easiest way to do it, and it's on your PC or your laptop, which uh, then you can watch uh, material or media on your computer or laptop, or you can hook those devices up to your television and do it that way. So this is going to be the easiest way to do it, and we're not actually going to use Kodi from the official Kodi website at all. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So as you can see, I'm on my main desktop. I've opened uh, a web browser. In this case, uh, I've opened Google, Pro Google Chrome, uh, which is my favorite, but it doesn't really matter which one you're using, either Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer or uh, Firefox, it's up to you. So we are actually not going to use the Kodi website. The Kodi website is Kodi.tv. That's where you can download the official releases uh, as well as the upcoming releases if you want to. But when you download from the official Kodi website, it is uh, the Kodi that you install is completely empty. So you have to pretty much do everything yourself. There is another way to do this that's already ready to go. And this is the recommended method that I use uh, for people who are new to this or not overly familiar with computers. So here we go. In your address bar, you're going to want to go to the website tvaddons.ag. Simply press enter, and it's going to bring you to uh, a page called TV Add-ons. Now, TV Add-ons has been around for a while, and uh, it's a website where you can get information on uh, the add-ons that are available for Kodi, which if you're new to Kodi, you may not be familiar with yet, but uh, it's something that you'll be more familiar with later as we get going. So TV Add-ons actually makes an app called Free Telly, and um, what it does is, as I mentioned before, it, it has everything ready for you to go. And free telly is basically just a pre-configured version of Kodi. So um, right on the main page here, you're going to see uh, down here a little bit Kodi and Kodi add-ons. And what you're going to want to do, depending on if you have a Mac or Windows, you are going to want to download free telly for one of those devices. As you can tell, I'm using uh, a Windows PC right now. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to download it. It's going to bring you to this website. It's going to make sure and ask you to donate uh, if you can. And then we're just going to click download here. It's going to open a new window and we are going to begin the download. It's 68 megabytes. No wait time. It's going to search for mirrors, which means it's searching for a place to download that particular file from. And then we just simply select the primary and it's going to download. Wait till that finishes. You'll see it down in the bottom left-hand corner. It'll also, if you're on a different browser, it may come up a different way. You're just going to want to open that file. And when it's done, click on it to open it. Oops. Okay, I'm just going to move this over. Um, so you'll have one file in the zip file which you downloaded called Free Tele Setup. We're just going to double-click that right away. All right, welcome to the free tele setup wizard. Next to continue, license agreement. Looks good. I agree. Next, and then it's going to ask you where. Um, by default, the default folder is usually no problem at all. I'm going to actually install it to my secondary hard drive where I have a little more space. And then it's going to ask you to create a start menu shortcut. And it's also going to put a shortcut on the desktop, I believe. Not going to take long at all. Of course, it depends on the speed of your computer. And that is it. It's all done. Just hit finish. We are going to close these windows and I can't really see if it made a shortcut on my desktop. Doesn't look like it. So recently added should be right at the top. I'm using Windows 10. 
we're going to click free telly. So open up the program. It's going to be in your start menu. And it's going to say you're almost done. You'll be joining the magic of free telly in a matter of minutes. There's just one last step. Press the click here to finalize installation on the next prop after uh, you click OK to close the dialog. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to click OK and do as it says. Click here to finalize the installation. You're almost done. Just click continue to finalize the installation. So what this is doing is basically it's installed Kodi like you normally would. And then this little step that it's performing now is installing all the most popular add-ons that you're going to want to have if you are running Kodi on your PC or Mac computer. So we'll just let it, let it go through its thing. I'm not going to skip any of this. I want to kind of show you how it runs in real time. All right, installation successful. Please visit TV Add-ons AG for future support. And then we're just going to hit OK here. And everything is done now. There's nothing else to do. Of course, if you wanted to add more add-ons, that's certainly up to you. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But everything is done. Uh, you'll also notice that it changes the background. I'm going to show you. If you don't like that background, it gives you, again, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to show you how to get rid of that. First of all, we're going to go to System. And then we're going to go to Appearance. And then uh, under settings, there's an option over here called backgrounds. And as you can see, the reason I take the, the background off uh, is because the words of the background actually interfere with the word. Like you can see that right now, where the words of the background actually interfere with the words uh, from Cody. So I'm just going to enable a custom background and then pick whatever you want. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure I have something in my downloads. No, I guess not. Pictures, maybe? How about Pac-Man? There you go. So that's how you change the background. You can pick any of your photos or whatever, whatever you want, or just a nice background picture. Then we're going to go back. All right, so um, quick intro to Kodi if you're not familiar the way that Kodi works is it uses a bunch of different add-ons uh, within it to uh, what we call scrape different sites and and areas of the internet to find particular media files that you want to view or listen to something like that the most popular uh, in my opinion is the first one here Exodus we're just gonna hit Exodus Exodus is a add-on that has access to hundreds of thousands of movies and TV shows let me just show you quickly how it works if you click movies uh, pick something that, uh, pick a category, I just go to most popular usually. Um, it's going to show you some movies that are popular right now. It's going to load up rather quickly. Um, just pick any of those movies and then it's going to scrape the internet for everywhere where that movie file is hosted. So as you can see it's checking multiple sources to find out where Captain America Civil War is hosted and then it's going to bring all those up for you. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. takes an average 25 to 30 seconds on each movie that uh, you pick which isn't long when you consider it so then it's going to give you a bunch of sources you notice that the best sources are always at the top starting with the 1080p uh, links and then to HD and if we scroll down a little more it's going to get to standard definition so I always start at the top usually the best sources are always picked on the top so you just hit the top one sometimes it takes a few to get through but you just click it and there you have it the movie will start playing Okay, and it's just that simple. And that's just one add-on of Kodi. There's tons of them, and by installing the free Tele app, it did most of those for us. If we go to video add-ons, you're going to notice a whole bunch on there. Some live uh, channels, YouTube, a whole bunch of stuff. If you wanted to get more, simply click on Get More, and it's going to bring up absolutely tons of different uh, add-ons that you can add for video sources. I won't worry about that right now. I'll let you guys play around with that. And that's, again, just in videos. There's some for pictures, some for music. Notice some radio apps and things down there. Some add-ons, maintenance tool. 
And that's pretty much it. That is the easiest way to install Kodi on a PC or Mac computer. Go to tvaddons.ag, install the free Tele app, and then just simply click on the finalize option and everything will be ready to go. Um, other than that, you can search multiple Kodi uh, tutorials online if you want to get a little more involved, but you don't really need to do anything else. All the important stuff is already accessible right at your fingertips. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, certainly let me know in the com comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll try and release some more newbie um, videos like this. Have yourself a good day, guys. Bye.